Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So I have a story time. It is a long letter, so stay tuned. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So as I just stated, it is a long letter, so I want to go ahead and read this long letter, and then I'm going to answer it. Now, let me just back up and actually say that if you have a question and or scenario that you would love for me to answer, then go ahead and send it in. My email address is down in the description box below. So without further ado, I am going to read this long letter, okay? Hi, first thing, we were never committed. We were getting to know each other, but didn't get to the dating phase yet. I feel hopeless myself. I met this guy a while back. I will admit it was through Tinder, a dating site. Okay, anyway, <laughs> when I first met him, I found him attractive. But even then, I thought I was more attracted to him than he was to me. I even asked for his number first, which was mistake number one. He was polite, and I let him hold the conversation while I chipped in because I'm a talker. Later that week, I him to meet my to meet him at my place and we watched the movie only and he left afterwards I know too soon I think he came over to my place one more time before I began uh, the semester in the fall after a minute our communication fell off since it was in the early stages I, I just fell back after two weeks or so I reached out to him again and we text over and over again then he didn't respond to one of my texts by then I said forget it we hadn't hung out much anyways. I felt he was a good guy, so I didn't push him. I felt he was, I'm sorry, instead I turned my attention elsewhere. So a week or so later, he reached out to me again in August or September. So that's when we was texting consistently for the most part. And then she has a question. Number one, was that the first red flag he's interested in, ch in me chasing him only? I found out in October after knowing him for three months that he's a single father and I was a little nervous, but I kept talking to him. He'd come over to my place only and we'd watch TV and talk. And even though I did want to hang out in public too, he said that we would, but it still hadn't happened as of yet. So the next time we did hang out after a football football game, he bought me food and we talked a lot. When two guys asked what we were, he said friends, which I'm assuming he still sees us as to today. Then I went home and we had a few drinks with his friends. He said he still wanted me to come over, but he wants to sleep over as well. We hadn't even kissed yet at this point. So this was another red flag. We finally kissed and had sex. I wasn't too attached just yet, but I was the first one to text after doing that, which I shouldn't have, but I was so excited. So we had, I'm sorry, so we hang out again before Thanksgiving break, I believe. Even then, he just leaves the text convo and come back around like a day or two later or a few days later. I didn't like how I was making plans in advance and he'd text me last minute to see what I was up to. Over the break I asked what he was looking for. He said he had just gotten out of a relationship a month or two before meeting um, the young lady who the writer of the letter and wasn't sure what he wanted but could see himself dating me. A month later when I asked I found out he was with his mother's child for five years. I initiated some similar conversations about where we stood because he never brought them up and he only texted that worries me later that week I'm sorry last week when I found out that I asked him would you date me or other people he said he's open to dating anyone but if I dated him he wanted me to only to be the only person but since we're not committed I can see other people anywho so he's been flaky with talking to me for a week now and I know I got to the point twice where I sent like six messages and he finally responded did I lose him or will he circle back around? I want a possible closer in the post person. I told him I could reach him how to cook. I'm sorry, I can't even I can't I can't even read y'all. This this is so long. I told him I could teach him how to cook one of his meals. I made up the fact I'd be in town over the break. I said we could fix steak and mashed potatoes. All he really said was that uh, he liked the food that I picked. Did that mean that he wanted me to cook for him? And then the next day after messages, he told me that he was busy over the week because of the holidays and Christmas was coming around. And when I asked him would he make time for me in January, all he told me was that he wasn't interested in cooking. Does that actually mean that he wants to see me because I said I could make it for him? He hasn't responded since. Then he didn't even text me on Christmas, so I didn't either. And um, 
Another question, did I break the camel's back when I asked him if he wanted to hang out next year? It's been three days and I feel like I've blown it. I showed some clingy signs. I showed some clingy signs last week. So I've been trying to keep away. Does he want me to chase him or text me and eventually uh, talk back to me? I hate getting attached because we did it again and he says he likes it and began initiating and kissing, but maybe he never wanted me. His texting skills suck. <laughs> Honey, that's most men. There's, they're one word to the death. Anywho, <laughs> he's a quiet person. I get that, but sometimes the conversations don't go far. Sometimes I feel like I was a rebound, but since we've only connected for a short period of time, I didn't expect for things to end abruptly. When I asked, he said, I carry myself pretty damn good as a woman. Does this guy just need his space? Then he'll come back around, or is it a done deal? Then she actually gives me an update. I'm actually almost done. So the update is, so I haven't reached out to him in about two weeks. This is probably his way of putting me in the friend zone. Either that or he's putting me on the back burner. I'm not sure. He enjoyed it when we did it. I got in touch with him and I got real with him. I told him I don't like going to going into the new year with doubts about people that need to be around me. I asked him if he still wanted to be involved with, with me. He said he's fine with that, but we should leave sex out of it because he doesn't think it's a good idea. I told him I'm fine with that. When a man says that, this is her question, even even after y'all have been sexually involved, is that a good sign? Does that mean he values you and wants to get to know you more? Or could it have been that he thought I was getting too attached? It just surprises me how he held off talking and, and initially, and I'm sorry, intentionally. It's like we, it's like, will he even reach out again? Thank you so much for your time. And then her signature. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to take this question by question and kind of scenario by scenario because I'm sure that she is not the only person that is dealing with something like this and I do have a lot of younger subscribers that may be dealing with similar situations which was why I wanted to read the entire lengthy letter all right but I'm gonna go ahead and take it step by step so was it a mistake when she asked for his number in the first place I don't think that it that was a mistake I think that that is perfectly fine. You can approach the guy in the beginning, but you also have to pull back and return the reins over to him so he can be the man to chase, to chase, right? To chase you. So asking for his number is actually fine. I, I preach about approaching. Okay, so that's fine. He was polite. Da, 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 da. I think he, uh, okay, right. So he came over to y'all place. Y'all only watched the movie. Y'all didn't kiss or anything. So that's fine. I can't say that it was necessarily too soon because you guys just watched TV and hung out. You didn't have sex the first time or the second time that he came over. So, eh, eh, okay, whatever. All right. So you guys were texting consistently. Um, so your question was, was that the red flag he's because he's interest, interested in you only chasing him no that's not a red flag what that is is he's showing you that he's not interested in you that's just the bottom line he's not interested in you because when a man is interested in you you the woman will not have to chase him he will make time to see you he will make sure absolutely make sure that you are a part of his day that you are a part of his world he will start to try to intertwine your worlds together if he wants you to be there so if he's not doing that it's because he don't want you to be there most men do not want women to chase them they don't you actually said in here a little bit later were you being too clingy or that you were showing signs of clinginess maybe you were you know maybe you were because men don't like clingy women but I have to applaud you in recognizing some of the mistakes that you were actually doing. Even though you went ahead with them, I'm noticing from, you know, you, you're saying of oh, mistake number one, mistake number two, is that a red flag and all this stuff. So you are recognizing some of the stuff that you did wrong with this particular guy. So I'm applaud you on that. But uh -uh. don't know God wants you to chase them, okay? You found out that he was a single father and... um. He had a five-year relationship with his ex, and then he met you like two months ago. So, and you was feeling like the rebound girl. I will have to say, yes, ma'am, you was the rebound girl because he was not over his ex. He had been with somebody for five years. Now they have a child together. It didn't work out for whatever reason, and now he's meeting the new girl. So, I do have a video about 
um, why the men seem to move on so quickly. So I'm going to definitely link that up here and I'll put it down in the description box below. You make sure that you listen to that video. But um, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so this is very important here. Very important. So my younger audience definitely listen up to this one. So in here she said that when he was around his friends, two guys came to hang around with them too, right? When the two guys asked what we were, he said, friends. When a man sees you as more than a friend, he is not going to introduce you as a friend. He might say, this is such and such, as in your name. He might insert your name there. Or he might say, this is my girlfriend. He might say it in a plain, plain, playing manner, even though you guys haven't talked about that. But if, if he ever introduces you as his friend, you absolutely take it as you are nothing but his friend. He don't see you as anything but his friend. And you can back yourself out of that situation. Not necessarily right in that moment, but you know where you stand with him. So if you was looking for him to be some type of a boyfriend or something where you guys will have some type of sexual energy going on. When he introduces you as his friend, he don't see you in a sexual manner. So don't waste your time. Believe him when he introduces you as what he introduces you as. He said friends. You decided to move forward. Have sex with him. And now you're trying to figure out what is he doing with you. He gave you clear signs from the very beginning that he was not interested in you in that way. Now, again, asking for his number, that's not a big deal. You said that he's a quiet person, not a big deal, right? So you might have had to start the um, initiation with him. Because some guys, you might need to start it with them. But, but as the relationship goes on and they're getting more comfortable with you, the man wants to take back over and you have to let him take back over so you can um, follow the man. He introduced you as a friend, honey. That is all you are. If you're looking for a relationship, it's not going to be with him. And that's fine. You can keep him as a friend. He might be super cool. Maybe one day, you know, maybe one day he will come around and see how awesome you are and want you as a girlfriend. But today, he don't see you like that. So you already said that you started um, putting your um, interest in other people. So that was great. That was great that you did that. Keep your interest in other people. Keep your interest in people that are showing you interest back. If he was falling off the bandwagon, then okay. Let him fall off the bandwagon. You fall off the bandwagon too. Because you got bigger and better things to do than sitting around waiting. Don't sit around and wait. Okay. Okay, here's another big mistake that you actually made, which was you sent him six messages and then he finally responded to one of them. And he only responded once you sent several messages twice. Mm -mm. When a guy's interested in you, he ain't gonna let you send he ain't going to let you send more than two messages before you reply. Maybe three, depending on if y'all arguing or something like that. Right? He might be giving you the cold shoulder because you guys are arguing. But if nothing happened, and, you know, after you gave up the goods, and all of a sudden he falling back, mm-mm, boo, he don't want you. Not like that. He don't want you as no girlfriend. You don't. I know that this sounds kind of harsh coming from me, but that is the only way that I can give it to you is straight I don't sugarcoat because that's not gonna help you you already said that you were in a situation like this I didn't read this before but she had sent me a follow-up and said that she um, had basically been in a similar relationship like this uh, a year ago and so to get over that guy she was dealing with this one so she was already seeing some of the same signs between the two, which is why she was able to recognize a little bit of what was happening in this situation. So I'm giving her some props. You live and learn and you are learning. You're still in the learning phases when it comes to things like this. And that's OK. But the more time situations like this come up, you will nip them right in the bud because you already know what's going on you already know what's happening so my younger audience especially my 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 babies that are in college my 20 somethings y'all trying to figure it out and i get it don't beat yourself up if you are in a similar situation like this 
hold your head up high and you start to remove yourself from that situation because honestly it becomes a toxic situation because you're the only one who has your emotions invested in it the guy doesn't so if you are in a similar situation like my sister here then you get out of it even if even if you have to do it slowly and what I mean by slowly is instead of you picking up every single one of his texts you just slowly answer him basically like this dude was doing to her a few messages go by, he says nothing, and then you answer. Right? So you slow, or you can do cold turkey. So if this sounds like a situation that you're in, but you're not having it, move on with life. Don't entertain it no more. Don't make yourself feel like you are less than because you are worthy. You're worthy of a relationship. You're worthy of a guy treating you with respect. But you have to treat yourself with respect first before anybody will treat you with respect. As far as the cooking goes with you, girl, he was just playing around with you. He didn't want you to cook for him. Like, at all. He was just playing around with you. He was entertaining you. Because he was trying to see if he was going to circle back around with you. But for whatever reason, he chose not to. And now several weeks and months have gone by. And you talked about um, cooking for him early January, but that still didn't happen. He never took you out in public. And so that's a definite red flag. Any guy that really wants to be with you wants the world to see his fine boo right next to him. It doesn't have to be every single day that you guys are going out. But if you guys have never gone out in public together, no man. If it's always one of those, I'll come to your room or you come to mine or I come to your house, you come to mine. Don't do it to yourself. Don't set yourself up to always have the person coming to you where they never take you out in public. If you have never been out in public and it has now been months, and I'm not even talking about where you got to be spending money. I'm talking about walking in the park. I'm talking about going to the beach, depending on where you're at in the world. I'm talking about just getting outside of, outside, out, outdoors. When you're getting outdoors where people can see y'all walking around and it's not like in a town two three five cities away where he trying to okay I took you out in public but basically still hide you because your social circle won't see you guys together those are all super super duper red flags don't do it my very last thing that I want to say about this situation is that he does not sound like a super scumbag okay and the only reason why I'm like taking up for him at this point is because he said that you guys can continue to be friends but sex should not be involved and that actually speaks volumes and it speaks very highly about him maybe he was uh, going down that down road with having sex with you and then he felt bad about it he thought about it or you know uh, or he just don't want to have sex with you I know again I'm not trying to be harsh or demeaning or make you feel bad about yourself but I do want to give you the absolute truth the truth as I see it the truth as maybe even if I didn't go through a similar situation like this I know countless friends that have gone through similar situations like this and so if you could read between the lines of what is going on with your guy or a potential guy then you will not waste a lot of time on a guy or a situation like this in the future trust me I already see you learning from this situation and the next guy that comes along you might still need a little bit of learning you might still need a little bit of learning but the next guy will not be able to get away with what this guy did just like the previous guy this guy now he didn't get away with as much as you let the first guy get away with right so each time you are learning so don't beat yourself up learn why you go continue to date continue to move on and your guy will show up it might be a few years you're still learning what you want you're still learning what you need you're still learning what you desire and this is the time to do it when you are young this is the time to do it when you got the time to waste right this is the time to do it so don't beat yourself up it's all a learning experience but here at I Love Me, 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 I'm giving you guys the tips and tools in order to build healthy, happy, romantic relationships. So when it is your time to get married, you will not be a statistic, part of the divorcee rate. All right. 
definitely give me thumbs up if you liked this video you can absolutely share it with all of the people that you need to share it with and if you have a story that you would like for me to read and answer absolutely send me that story my email address is in the description box below and finally if you guys are not following me on social media you make sure that you go ahead and do that because I am going to vlog every day really soon and so I'm going to be taking questions on my social media sites. All of those are down in, this, in the description box as well. I will see you guys in the next video.